Hey, what's up you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a little bit different as you can tell, the background's completely different. I am in a hotel right now in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, I'm staying here for the weekend and I have two dolls that I have to film. I got one today and then I got one in the mail the other day. So one will be in today's video that you're watching and then another one will be up later on this week. Today is Fierceness Day. I think. Okay, so today is Fierceness Day. I'm in a hotel. It's been a very crazy experience. Um, we checked in. Check-in was for 3 p.m. Uh, we came at 5.30 and they still didn't have our hotel ready. <laughs> yeah, so then we stood in the lobby with all of our shit for like 30 minutes. So that was fun. Then we got to our room and like it was literally dirty. There was like literally a ball of tin foil, a ball of plastic on the floor from like food, ketchup on the nightstand. There was like blood on the ceiling. Like it was definitely crazy. The driving here was crazy. It was really rainy, really gross. I saw a very scary Christmas tree, which you would have saw either in a previous video from here. Yeah, I think you would have saw it in last week's video, last Tuesday's video for the doll hunting. If it was last Tuesday, I have no idea. Everything is pre-filmed, so it's been crazy. And yeah, now there's cops at the hotel, so that's fun. But today's video, as you could tell from the title, is the Mermaid High Mari doll. Now, I want to give like a little bit of backstory. This series is so so good. Like Spin Master, you are doing so well. I think Spin Master is Canadian, or at least I saw that on Instagram the other day that they were Canadian or something like that. So I love that. I live in Canada on the East Coast. And uh, Mari is not my favorite character, to be honest, in the show. I really like Sierra, but I feel like she is a bit boy crazy. I haven't watched the newest episode that just came out a week ago. There is a new episode every two weeks. So every second Saturday, there is a new episode on their channel. They're about like five minutes. They're really easy to watch. Five minutes or less, usually. Uh, I really like, what's her name? Finley as well. But I feel like Sierra and Finley's dolls were a little bit weird looking. And I saw some like, you know, some issues with Sierra's hair maybe being a little bit less soft than the other girls. So I was like, Mari's a good one to go for. I really like her color scheme. I like the purple. I like her theme. I like that she's very like grunge. This is very me in like 2014. So I did get her on Amazon.ca. I will put the price right here. I think she was $39.99 if I believe, something like that, Canadian. But here she is in her box. I love the holographic. I love that it's a mermaid turning into a human. I love her little art on the side. Mermaid High, and then it has her name, and then it has the watch on the YouTube Kids app. And then on the back, it's this metallic mermaid scale printing with the Mermaid High logo. Then we have Finley, Sierra, Oceana, and Mari, and then the four girls down here. Now there was some pictures linked on Instagram. I will try and find them and put it right here on the side of possibly four new girls. If not, then it's three of the first edition dolls, but like a second edition. Mari didn't get one though. It was Finley, Sierra, and Oceana, if it is those three, or it's four new dolls, which is exciting, and maybe four new characters, or maybe another character in the show will finally get a doll. Now, in this box, and on the back, it does say, dive deep into the world of Mermaid High, an Oceanside school named after legendary tales of mermaid sightings. Four new students are making serious waves with their unique style and outrageous personalities, but they've got a big secret. They're actually mermaids. Real mermaids at Mermaid High? Yep, you've never seen mermaids like this before. Finn's fashion and friendship as deep as the ocean. MFFs for EVS. Mer friends forever. I like that. That's really cute. I love this picture on the back so much. And it has like the mermaid high like kind of up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. Yeah, so you can kind of see like the school back here and then you see the four girls in the water. And then in the box it has one mermaid tail, one top, one skirt, one pair of knee-high socks, one pair of shoes, eight fashion accessories, one pretend shell laptop, one comb, one student ID sheet, and one instruction seat sheet with one doll. So let's get her open and I will be right back to show you what she looks like out of the box. I love this little bubble pattern too coming from her. This box also gives me very much Wings Club vibes by Jack Specific. I feel like that is very reminiscent here. 
Now I will give the packaging maybe a two out of 10 for an unboxing experience. There was a lot of glue on it. There was a lot of glue on the side and it was really hard. Like I had to get someone else to open the box. And I think that tells you right there, if an adult can't get it open, then, you know, I mean, I am weak, but like, I didn't think I was that weak. Like, I don't think a child would be able to open that up. But that's just my opinion on that. I don't know. There just was no easy way to open. Like you literally had to like rip it and or cut it and even cutting it. Like, I don't know. It just wasn't working with the scissors. Have her out. Hair. She is serving inches and it's really soft. It's very pretty hair. I like it. There is a bit of product in the front little pieces and you will see why in just a second. And I don't think I like it. Her bangs are like a glue down. And I mean glue, like I can't even move that. Like, do you hear that? And that's how much product is in her bang. So I, I can't tell you what her eyebrow looks like because I can't quite see it. It seems to be purple and straight, but I'm trying to peel her bangs up and it's just not, it's not working. And then for the hair too, the hair is shedding like no tomorrow. Now her hair does go all the way down to like her feet. So I mean, that's really pretty. Rooting wise, hmm. She has a little bit of balding where her crown is. You can see the balding right there. So I don't know, maybe if they maybe rooted it a little bit better by where the crown lays, maybe that would look benefit them, I guess, in the future. The bangs are a little bit cut uneven too. So if they wanted to put as much product in it, maybe they should have took the scissors a little bit more underneath. There's her gorgeous face right there. and you, But her eyes are gorgeous. Her lip is gorgeous. I love this necklace too. Very cute. This headband being actual octopus tentacles, I think is really interesting. And then her shirt is actually leather. She's got this mesh on here and then these little are these made of leather too? No, it's just a cotton string with little leather dots on it. It goes all the way to the back too. So we got mesh on the back with the leather. I love that. I love that they give us like a nice, really pretty leather. Like it's, it's kind of nice. Like it's, it feels like it's going to hold up. It feels like it's not going to peel by any means. I do really like the face of this doll too. I have to just go back and say that. This one looks very human and realistic. I find Finley and Sierra in doll form very much look cartoony, but I feel like Oceana and Mari definitely got a very pretty screening. Now let's just go down to her tail really quickly. My tail's kind of messed up, so you can see it's kind of placed weird, but she's got this really cool holographic, like almost crinkly type of material. Then she has some black mesh underneath, or I guess you can see it more in the back. Black mesh layer down here, and then she has some purple tool at the bottom to give her the full mermaid tail. Now there's one, two, three, maybe four plies, maybe even five plies on the mermaid tail. So I really like that. And I like that it's kind of a sleeve. You guys can't see in person, but it does have metallic scales all over it or holographic scales is what I mean to say. I like that they do have articulation in their knee. So it creates like a nice mermaid tail for if she's swimming. And then on her tail, she has this really cool chain detail. It is plastic, but it does feel much like the Monster High accessories. And she has a octopus right there as the little belt buckle. Three little bracelets right here. They are all connected together, but they are silver, purple, and black. That's all of her accessories in her mermaid form. What do you guys think? Now I will turn her into a human so that she can go to Mermaid okay, High. So inside the box as well, you do get this little plastic pouch, which does have a instruction booklet. And she comes with this really cute student ID. There's the student ID up close. And then on the back, it's got the four girls. So, so it says Mer style, metal and mesh. Fave school subject, math. Favorite food, squid ink pasta. Pet, my sea urchin, Sharkira. Mer power, hypnotic vocals. Fave color, dark purple. Ocean catchphrase, new shell phone. Who dis? That's super cute. I love, I love that they come with like a little card, almost like the Monster High Diaries. I don't know. I feel like all doll brands need that. Like I wish that Rainbow High had that so that we could, you know, see more. And then another accessory that I'm not using for her is this comb. It's got a shell. 
and some little starfish on it. It's a little pig comb. Y'all know how I feel about these. I don't really like these type of combs. And I wanted to show you the tail off. So it is kind of like a spandexy kind of material is what the tail's made out of. Kind of like a wetsuit almost fabric. Um, but like really like stretchy, like a stretchy spandex. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But there is the tail off of her. And you can see it's like super stretchy. It's got a Velcro in the back. So it's easy to get on, easy to get off. And then, yeah, the chaining detail you can take off if you decide to cut it there. And it does have a little belting detail. And then for the last accessory that's not a part of your outfit is this. But this you basically put into water and then you're supposed to, you know, be able to open it up. But I'm going to see if I can open it up here on camera. You can just like open it up with your fingers. Very easy. Oh, this is really cute. I like this. So it's got like Mari on the inside and then Oceana and it's got like a little, see it's got like a little keyboard and then it's got like the two girls inside. That's super cute and then it actually like sits on something and then you got this little package inside which should be I think her earrings or another accessory. I like the little colors that they did for the package too. I. I really hope that these dolls do well. And also, my request in this video is for ex canadensis I don't know why she hasn't done it yet. Girl, get on it. But I'm just kidding. But ex canadensis needs to do a cosplay of these. I feel like she needs to. Oh, these earrings are cute. So they're like little... You literally can't even see. But they're little shark teeth earrings. Okay, that's super cute. So I just put in her earrings. They are not secure at all. So I feel like, you know, if you are a kid and you have her, those are going to be gone like right away. So even doll collectors, keep an eye on her. If she's one of your favorite dolls on your shelf or if you want to keep all of her accessories together, please watch out for Miss Mari because those shark teeth are going. All right, so I have all the rest of her accessories here. Let's see her in her human form. Oh! <gasps> She's a human and a mermaid. Anyways, so she comes with these really cute thigh-high socks. Um, they're kind of the same material almost as his tail. They're like a really nice stretchy spandexy kind of cotton. She has these really cute shoes on the bottom. There's a close-up of her shoes there. I love them. They're really cute, nice strappy, and there's the socks. And then she comes with this really cute bag. It's like really heavy too. And it's got like this really cool mermaid, a skeleton mermaid, which is so cool. It's got a zipper detail. The handle is literally an octopus tentacle. It comes with these really cool sunglasses. I love the shape. And like even the handle is a different shape. I will take them off and show you it. And they have an octopus in the middle of the glasses. And they have an octopus tentacle arm on them. Her skirt is completely all leather, just like her top. It's got these really cool octopus tentacles on it. And then you can see a little bit more detail here on the side. So she's got full detail all the way around, which I love. It's got some safety pins, some other octopus tentacles. And then on the side right here is like kind of like a stitched kind of woven pattern. It's really cool and it's like a completely different texture. It's like almost like a cottony, I don't know, it's so cool, it's hard to explain and it, it's, it's a good chunk of the skirt too, like it's not just a little bit, but wow, she is gorgeous. I personally, the hair shedding and I feel like just, you know, her tail being weird, I feel like that's not all the dolls though. So if I'm going to really give her a full rating on all of her fashion pieces, on everything that she comes with. I feel like the earrings is the only thing that I really hate and then obviously the gel in her hair. But the earrings just not staying in I feel like is kind of a bummer, if that makes sense. But the doll itself, like wow, I'm so excited to have her on my shelf. She also has just regular knee articulation and elbow articulation, no wrist articulation, which is weird, and no ankle articulation, which I think the wrist articulation would have been good because it would have been easier to take off the clothes. And the ankle articulation for the tail because then you could actually like move their feet downward so then it would form a little bit better with the tail instead of like being pushed out but that is my overall opinion I think that the accessories I think that it's well worth your money I think that you're getting an incredible doll the hair everything here is just top of the line quality spin master 
is really stepping it up, especially for a new doll line. I think that this doll line should, you know, see quite a few years ahead of it, or at least I hope that other collectors such as yourself are really liking her. I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. She's serving inches. I think that's all you need to know. I think her serving inches and leather clothes and these really cute thigh highs, you literally get a tail, you get sunglasses, you get the comb, you get the student ID, you get the laptop, you get earrings, you get the necklace, you get the bracelets, you get the headpiece, all for $39.99 Canadian. That's good in my opinion. All right, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below on the new Mermaid High dolls. Are you guys obsessed with them? Who is your favorite down below? And who do you already have in your collection? Do you want to get Mari in your collection as well? Give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you want more Mermaid High girlies because I will for sure do reviews and unboxing if you guys want to see them. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye, you guys. And remember it always, stay fierce.